other one videos I showed you back here and finally with an unboxing. I did not get anything at all last week, didn't get anything yesterday. Um, I think it's been almost a week and a half, over a week for sure that I haven't gotten anything, which is not something that happens too often. Anyway, I did get today from Kickstarter. First of all, I got this one, which is from 52 cards. And somehow I got four decks here. I got the Black Mint. The Mint in Black, Launch Edition. And then there's another one here, which is the Limited Edition. Unfortunately, you can't even really see Mint on that one. <laughs> and then, there's also... Somehow, I got two of the Raspberry Editions, although I only ordered one, but hey, whatever, bonus. Um, that, that is weird. I don't know why it did that. <laughs> I think I got one more here. This is from uh, Paul Ruckio. I hate to tell you what else. Jet Setter. It is a new Jet Setter second edition. Playing cards looks very nice. I like it. That's what I got today. I'll see you next time with more. I don't know if there's any more coming this week. I will see. That's that. See you next time. I'm going to be the safe to back again. Ending the week off right with some unboxings. First, I got one here from Kickstarter from Home Run Games. And for some reason, there's a piece of wood in here. I don't know what that's all about. Wow. Interesting support. Uh, there's a few bonus decks in here that they were kind enough to give me. Well, thank you very much, Michael Scott, for that. Um, oh, I'm not so sure about how people can feel about taping tape onto the decks. Kind of weird. Uh, especially packing tape. That's it for those who want to keep them, you know, sealed. They now have sticky residue to them. And they're stuck on the bottom too. Wow. That's just weird. And, okay, they're actually inside of a plastic baby or something. Or maybe not. Okay, so that's fine. But that's a little protected because they were wrapped up in something. There is a bunch of coins. That's a awesome. lot of coins. They're not worth nothing because they're the, but they're nice. Uh, so we got these are Linen Eagle, nice, they're, they're vintage, they're not vintage decks, they're vintage, uh, they look like vintage decks, which is from the most recent project, the Lion Eagle, looks very nice, pretty cool, I will look forward to checking them out, see if I can open this up. And there is five coins. Hopefully they're Spanish doubloons. Nope. They're just... They're not real coins. <laughs> clubhouse cards. Sam Hart and Company's Clubhouse cards. So it's nice. It's made to look like, I guess, something old. I don't know why we need so many, but... Cool. And there's one more here. This is actually sent to me. I uh, contacted somebody about a deck, and they were nice enough to send it to me. Uh... I thought they were going to charge me shipping, but they did not. It's an older deck, the Conjure is sweet. Unfortunately, my knife was too sharp and went right through. Slight damage, but not a big deal. The Conjure is sweet. It's an old USB-C deck. TheConjure.com Thank you very much to them for sending me this. And that is that. I'll see you next time next week with more, hopefully. <clears throat>